Hello everyone, Mr. Foggy Nights here, and welcome back to more Knights of the Old Republic. We have an electronic message. Let's read it. Uh, hello, blah, 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 hyperdrive, Tatooine, you go minor, uh, get that blaster, on the run, uncle. Sealed strongbox. Try to enter the password. Strongbox, okay. What is the name of your pet? Hyperdrive. Who taught you to fire a blast? My uncle. Where did your family originally come from? Alderaan. Well, that's that's a good way of cheating out the system. If you screwed up somewhere in your password, in that password entering, that thing would have blown up and you'd have lost all the gear in there. I'm going to put that Republic mod armor on. And let's, I think this is, oh no, it's just a door. Ooh, Selvin. I'm going to save because it's an interesting person. Put some med packs on. Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? No. I'm the one with the blaster pointed at you. I get to ask the questions. What are you doing here? Well, go explore somewhere else. There's nothing interesting for you here. This is your only warning. If you bother me again, you won't walk out of here alive. Hmm. I gave you a chance to get out of here. Now yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Not that scary, Selvin. Here, actually, yeah, I can show this off. You can pause the game by pressing white, and you can switch over to your character and fill in their blast, their action command thingy. Oh, man. My friend needs a med pack. Uh, where is the usables? Ah. Okay. There we go. Great. Perfect timing. Yes. Let's pick up uh, the remains from Selvin. A neural band. Cool. Actually, you know what? I'll give card that. Sure. And let's head out the door. Because I believe this is the exit. Nope, one more door. And Karth can level up. It's the first time Karth can level up. Level up. Skills. Treat injury. Power blast. Now we can leave. Yay! We're officially out of the lower city. We're not out of the lower city. Sorry. We're out of the apartments. What's the clock at? Four minutes approximately. Yeah. Five. Four. Two. One. Four minutes. Okay. Alrighty. Nope. Wrong way. Wait. Yes. This way. This is the way you want to go. This le this way leads to the Undercity. And a whole bunch of Black Vultures. Alrighty. Remember, you can rapid transit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shut up. I don't want to return to the hideout though, so shut up. Okay. No, I'm gonna ignore you for a second. Okay. Um. 
if you say something stupid to the Sith, these turrets are gonna lock on you and, um, they insta-kill you. These turrets will insta-kill you, you die in one shot no matter what. this guy. Shoot first, ask later. Policy. That's a good policy. I don't know what I'm singing, but I'm singing for the sake of singing, even though I suck at singing. You there! Upworlder! Hey, you. Anyone using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits! Five credits? Holy! We are the outcasts. Banished and reviled by those who dwell above. Here in the filth and darkness, we claw out a wretched existence, scavenging and begging just to survive Aww. long enough to see another wretched day. This is our village. We live here in the undersea. Your village. You have to pay us five credits for using our elevator. Poor guys. Here, take 20. <laughs> credits, my brother! We have credits. Now we can buy food and medicine. Hush, or the others will hear us. They'll want our credits. We have to hide them. Go on, you two. Get out of here. Jeez, finally some law and order. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name is Bob. My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? No, uh, this is like a little kid who was born here. I was born here in the Undercity. Is exactly. Is it nice as they say up there? Um, it is beautiful. I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool. Having dreams of a place I've never even seen. Having dreams is not a big thing. No, it's not a big problem. Having dreams is a good thing. Rukio is the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukio Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. I like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. Well, if you have nothing to believe in, you can't... like... Yeah. It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukio believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. This is a very depressing place here. We have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukia. Where can I find this Rukia? He's Rukio? wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard like bones. He's over 100 years old. The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. Alrighty. I'll be going. Oh, okay. Well, if you ever need anything, or if you just feel like talking, come back and see me. I hardly ever get a chance to speak to someone from the upworld. Alright, we got... After all that, we lost 20 credits and we gained some light side points. Alrighty, um... There's Rook Hill. I guess we'll talk to him and then we'll call it an episode. The above. Is this the time of destiny, then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or 
were merely another false sign to mislead us from the path. Are you the herald of prophecy, the beacon to guide us through the darkness? Or are you merely another harbinger of shattered dreams and unfulfilled promises? Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damnation? Speak, uh, Upworlder. I beg you. Question. You are uncertain, bewildered, perplexed. Understandable, I suppose. Even after a hundred years of life, I myself still become confused. You sure that's not amnesia or dementia more setting in? Some things, at least. My name is Rukil, the oldest outcast here in the village. Rukil Wrinkleskin, the children call me sometimes. Once, I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, there was only a single apprentice who followed me. And now she is gone, too. Aww. No. No, no, not yet. I must be wary. Careful. You may be a false savior. Dare I share my secrets with you? Yes. No. Not until you prove yourself. I'm the savior. My Come on. is lost. I sent her out into the Undercity to find... Well, I cannot tell you. Not yet. Sadly, my apprentice has not returned. Please, Upworlder. Poor guy. Will you help an old man? He's lost his only Will pupil. You seek out yes, I'll help you out. Her may be difficult. I'll be back I if I find out anything. Upworlder, come speak to me again.